Okay. So let's talk content. Okay, this is the topic of the first part of the course. The first part of the course is focused on analysis. The second part of the course is focused on design. Okay, before you can do design, you have to master a bunch of uh, techniques for analyzing algorithms. Okay, and then you'll be in a position to design algorithms that you can analyze and that which are efficient. So analysis of algorithm is the theoretical study of computer program performance and resource usage. And in particular, focus is on performance. Okay, we're studying how to make things fast. Okay, in particular, computer programs. We also will discover, uh, talk about other resources such as communication, such as memory, whether RAM memory or disk memory. Okay, so there are other resources that we may care about. Okay, but predominantly we focus on performance. Okay, so because this is a course about performance, I like to put things in perspective a little bit by starting out and asking. In programming, what's more important than performance if you're in an engineering situation and writing code, okay, writing software? What's more important than performance? Correctness. Correctness, good. Okay. What else? Simplicity, Simplicity can be very good, yep. Yeah. Maintainability. Maintainability. Okay, often much more important than performance. Cost. Cost. Okay, we, uh, and what type of cost are you thinking? Money. No, but I mean, it, cost of what? Like hardware, well, I guess computation. We're talking software here, right? Okay. So, so what type of cost do you have in mind? As a subset of resource usage. Okay, yeah, so, so then you're sort of. Okay, there are some costs that are involved when programming, like. Programmer time. Okay, so programmer time is another thing also that might be stability. Stability. Okay, robustness of the software. Okay, does it break all the time? What else? Come on, we've got a bunch of engineers here. A lot of things. How about features? Features can be more important. Having a, a wider collection of features than your competitors. Functionality. <coughs> Modularity. Okay, is it designed in a way where you can make changes in a local part of the code and it doesn't, you don't have to make changes across the code in order to affect a, a simple change in the functionality? Okay. Okay, there's one big one which is definitely, especially in the 90s, was like the big thing in computers. The big thing. Well, security, actually, good. I don't even have that down. Security is excellent, okay? That's actually been more in the 2000s, okay? Security has been, been far more important often than uh, performance. Scalability. scalability has been important, although scalability in some sense is, uh, is performance related. But yes, scalability is good. So what was the big breakthrough in the, I mean, why do people use Macintoshes rather than, uh, than Windows, those people who are of that religion? <laughs> User friendliness. Wow, if you look at the number of cycles of computers that went into user friendliness in the 90s, it grew from almost nothing to where it's now the vast part of the uh, computation goes into user friendly. So all those things are more important than performance. So this is a course on performance. Okay, so then you can say, okay, well, so why do we bother? Then why study? Algorithms 
and performance. Okay, if it's at the bottom of the heap. Almost always people would rather have these other things than, than performance. You go off and you say to, to somebody, would I rather have performance or more user, more user friendliness? It's almost always, you know, more important than performance. Why do we care then? Yeah. That wasn't user friendly. So sometimes performance is correlated with user friendliness. Absolutely. Okay. You know, nothing is more frustrating than sitting there waiting, right? Okay. So that's that's a good reason. What are some other reasons why we? Some applications have real time constraints. Sometimes they have real time constraints, so they don't actually work unless they perform adequately. Yep. Um, hard to get ex well, I, we don't measure user, we don't usually quantify user friendliness, so I'm not sure that's a, but I understand what you're saying, yeah. So we don't get, he says, get, don't get exponential uh, uh, performance improvements in user friendliness. We often don't get that in performance either, by the way. <laughs> okay, sometimes we do, but, okay, but that's good, okay. So, so there's several reasons that, um, that I think are important. One is that often performance measures the line between the feasible and the infeasible. Okay, so we heard some of these things, for example, in real time, when there are real time requirements, if it's not fast enough, it's simply not functional. Okay? Or if it uses too much memory, it's simply not going to work for you. Okay? And as a consequence, what you find is algorithms are on the cutting edge of entrepreneurship. If you're talking about just re-implementing stuff that people did 10 years ago, performance isn't that important at some level. But if you're talking about doing stuff that nobody's done before, one of the reasons often that they haven't done it is because it's too time consuming, it's too, uh, you know, things don't scale and so forth. So that's one reason, okay, is the feasible versus infeasible. Another thing is that uh, algorithms give you an, a language for talking about program behavior. Okay, and that turns out to be is a language that has uh, been pervasive through computer science, is that the theoretical language is what gets adopted by all the practitioners because it's a clean way of thinking about things. I think a, a good way I think about performance, and the reason it's on the bottom of the heap, is sort of like... Um, Performance is like money. It's like currency. Okay, so you say, what good does a stack of $100 bills do for you? Okay, wouldn't you rather have food or water or shelter or whatever? And you're willing to pay those $100 bills for, if you have $100 bills, okay, uh, for, uh, for that commodity. Okay, even though water is far more important to your living. Okay, well, similarly, performance is what you use to pay for user friendliness. It's what you pay for security. And you hear people say, for example, that um, you know I want greater functionality. So people will program in Java, even though it's much slower than C, because it has, and they'll say it costs me maybe a factor of three or something in performance to program in Java, but it's but Java is worth it because it's got all these object-oriented features and so forth, exception mechanisms and so on.